What up guys, Power Bang here, and today we are going to be talking about Town Hall 8 Govaho. Now what is Govaho? That is Golems, Valkyries, Hog Riders. You may have seen my earlier video showing the Govaho strategy at Town Hall 10, and I had quite a few people with something to say about that video. Now if you check this out, we got Gabe here saying the out update killed Valks at Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9, that HP nerf that they got. Uh, you know, Town Hall 10 and 11 are balanced, but, you know, they just don't have enough HP at Town Hall 8 and 9. Uh, and then X-Man saying, good for Max Valk only. Valk's level 4 have been rebalanced. Healer Queen also rebalanced. Why is Supercell being so mean right now? Um, so we're going to address those comments here in this video. In addition to those below saying, hey, can you show those Town Hall 8 raids? And can you show that Govaho guy to Town Hall 8? So guys, I'm hearing you. Let's get into it. Uh, go Vaho action. Let's go down, check out uh, this anti-3 base here. We will go ahead and pause it just real quickly. I want to explain on one of these bases what the goal is for the raid. Now, you want to enter in with two golems. Check the army composition, guys. It never changes. I build the same exact composition for every Town Hall 8 base, and since the update... Uh, and even prior to, uh, I have not failed a single time with this composition at Town Hall 8. So what you're looking for is a place where you can quad quake uh, to get your ho or your golems, king, valkyries, and some funneling wizards in towards the clan castle. You want to be able to address the CC troops with your wizards. That is the key, guys. The wizards have to take out any air targeting troops or the air troops that come out of that clan castle. The valkyries are responsible for the ground troops in addition to the wizards. So uh, they're going to try to put themselves in through the base where they can negate double giant bombs, making it easier on your hog riders on the back end. Let's go ahead and watch. Quad Quake guy on the front side. Uh, we are going to open up a big chunk of the base. Now, if we zoom out, notice half the base is now unlocked, and those Valkyries and Golems and King are going to be able to get in. Now, not only are they going to be able to do damage and take out uh, the defenses inside the core, what we're actually looking for is for them to distract for the Hogs that are going to be coming in uh, eventually. So... Wall breakers go down. The funnel was created by the wizards, guys. You want to make sure you hold a few back so you can see what's in the CC. Then the Valkyries go down. Inside your clan castle, you have three max Valkyries, one Barbarian, and a Quake spell. Now, the, you can see the heal spell is placed as soon as they need it, uh, but you want to place it so the very rear of the heal spell is where your troops are currently. That way they can run into it. Notice how they're just completely slaying. And then surgical hogs come in in the sides. And notice you kind of deploy them in a waterfall fashion. So one defense is firing at the previous group of hogs. And then it kind of goes till the end of the ring here. A heal spell is dropped where there could potentially be any single giant bomb issues. And uh, the hogs continue to stomp their way through the base. Uh, looking pretty good. The Valkyries and the, the Golems have made their way through the other side. A whole ton of troops left, guys. One other key here is to drop that wizard that you save from your army camps for the cleanup process. Now, we, we're going to review all of this in the next few raids, guys. I just wanted to show you uh, exactly what this looks like in real time on a Town Hall 8 base uh, by using those Valks, the Hogs, the Golems, uh, and the Funneling Wizards to make that 3-star happen. So there it is. That is the first one in the books. Let's go check out some more attacks, guys. Um, the reason you're seeing all of these in replays is because I don't have access to my, uh, you know, my Town Hall 8 device, which is right here. I can't actually use, uh, you know, that on my recording device, which is my iPad. So let's go ahead and watch more Town Hall 8 go, go Vaho with a Quad Quake. Now over here, you'll see uh, the Quad Quake go down. That's going to open up the corner wall there, uh, exterior wall, all the way to the core, so no wall breakers even needed there. Um, take my time with that, and then I deploy my golems in, in a spread fashion, so to try to get them to target different places and provide as much tanking as possible here for my wizards. Normally two to three wizards down on each side of the golem, creating a beautiful flank, and as the CC goes out, they are distracted by the golems. And then once the funnel is created and nowhere uh, but the, you know, the center of the base is uh, available for the Valkyries, you send them and the king, and again, guys, look as they mow through the clan castle, and then, uh, you know, the golems, the king, the Valks, all of them head into the base. The heal spell is dropped. And notice up top, guys, all of these defenses are pretty much firing at the core. And the ones that aren't, you know, just kind of waterfall effect. And then you're trying to drop the heal spell on the backside of the base there when the hogs need it. So you can see they're all kind of low. 
There's the heel getting them all back up to full health uh, for their last and final push through the base. Now, let's pause it real quick. Notice up top, Wizard is already working the trash rain. That's going to save you some cleanup time, guys. On the bottom, I'm waiting for the Teslas here uh, to lock on to my Hog Riders and my Valkyries and whatnot. And once that happens, I can drop my last wizard that you see in my, uh, my you know, inventory still. I'm going to drop them on the other end of that trash ring. So that's going to help the cleanup process go much, much faster. And as you can see, there he comes. And once the king goes through the wall, those Teslas uh, are going to lock onto the golems, the Valkyries, and the rest of this base is smashed. We've got a whole bunch of Valkyries that beat their way out on the other side. And notice the cleanup is already done. Another smashing success at the Town Hall 8 level. Uh, with Govaho. And again, both of those first examples did have clan castle troops. Uh, they were, you know, difficult, not difficult bases, but um, really no bases difficult with this strategy. I literally have not found a base yet where I can't build. It's a very counterintuitive to what I normally preach. Again, the quad quake goes down, opening up much of the core. And again, two golems go down and funneling wizards. But normally, guys, I preach build an army for the base. Now, in war, you are going to do just that. I haven't been in a clan war with this account recently. However, um, when you're in a war, you can actually tailor your army to the particular base. But this exact setup, uh, which is 14 hog riders, 7 valkyries, 3 of those in the clan castle, 8 wizards, 3 wall breakers, the quad quake, and 2 heals, it works for every single base, guys, at Town Hall 8. I'm absolutely smashing everything. So as you can see, the Valkyries go in after the Wizards have created that funnel. Uh, they push straight through. Um, I do catch an early bomb there with those uh, Hogs, which was not ideal. Uh, but there goes the Heal spell. I dropped it for the Hog Riders on the left uh, to keep them going. And notice the, the Valks actually head into the Heal there, so they are sharing it now. Uh, then on the top side, you'll notice the Surgical Hogging going down. And the Hogs still have one heal left that they're going to be able to meet up for um, as they uh, take a bomb shot there. And then they step into the final heal spell there. Everything is coming together. The Valkyries have actually gone off to this side. No big deal, though. The Hogs coming in. And notice the tanking, guys. We've got Golems and King over on that right side. The Hogs are not even being fired at. Now, same thing that we need to pay attention to. Wizard on the edge of the trash ring, guys. On the far side, the Valkyries beat their way outside the base, so we know that that side of the trash ring is taken care of. And that is how you know exactly where to drop your Wizards on the cleanup. When you deploy your kill squad, and you drop in uh, typically three Wizards on each side, um, every once in a while you'll get a dragon or a balloon coming out of that clan castle. That's when you need to drop an extra Wizard or so to back up your troops. That way those troops do get taken care of out of the clan castle. Um, then you need to save at least one uh, wizard. So this is a very fast attack. There is no lure um, normally, but there is oftentimes a lure if you can uh, afford it. So pausing it real quick here, guys. In the process of making this video, I was gemming army after army after army. We have a maxed out Town Hall 8 here that we're going up against. And it just so happens to be an anti-three-star base with multiple potential double giant bomb sets and uh, a maxed out king. Now, the funny thing is, I happen to forget most of my army here. I forgot half of my hogs. Only seven of them in the, bog, the bag here. Uh, we open up the center again with the quad quake and notice where this right golem comes down through the wall on the other side is a huge runway through the entire base. A max P.E.K.K.A. comes out of the clan castle. Oh crap! So we've got a limited army, uh, only seven hogs. Uh, we, this is how we take care of the CC guys, drop in a few more wizards. I've saved one though. One is saved. Then the king goes in. We make sure that the, the golem's heading in to do some tanking, and then the, uh, the Valkyries go in. Targeting that center core area, the wizards are starting to work their way around the outside of the base. So the trash ring's already kind of getting taken care of. Uh, from that side, we drop the hog riders in to make sure that building goes down to protect our wizards. And then we save uh, some hogs there from the top as well. Now check that out. In the core, the Valkyries have triggered a, a bomb set on one side. We're going to get a bomb set triggered on the other side, it looks like, by that archer and wizard. Um, and then the Hogs kind of work their way around the top, the Valkyrie still going strong, and we're waiting for the Hog Riders to move all the way around by the King uh, in order to use our last heal spell at that location where the potential single bombs could be, as well as where the Valks, the King, and the Hogs can all share that heal spell and get healed up to full. We do trigger one final giant bomb there, the Hogs working their way into that last quadrant. Again, guys, notice all of the defense focused on the Golem, and this base got wrecked. 
Wizard on the edge of the trash ring and Wizards on the edge of the trash ring. Doing that cleanup in very, very efficient fashion. That is how you do it at Town Hall 8, guys. Getting, you know, three stars literally every time out. It can't be stopped. There is no base design out there that can stop this strategy. Uh, the only thing you can hope to do is spread them out. And if you do that, the Valks can just run wild. You just bring more Valks, guys. Uh, very, very easy to do. Now, uh, let's go ahead and check out one final raid, guys. Try to keep this video short. Uh, here we got a Town Hall 9. We've got a level 8 Queen. So we're going to drop the uh, Quad Quake as usual to open up the core and make sure that those uh, Valkyries and Golems can get all the way back in that base to tank the backside as well. Check this out. Golems come down. I dropped a Wall Breaker first in order to test that Clan Castle. Had there been troops in it, I would have done a Lure with one Hog and then brought those troops out to make sure to kill them outside of the Queen Radius. Less stuff to handle at one time. We kill the Queen. In go the Valkyries and the King. Uh, the Golems are in there tanking. And as you can see, uh, the Hog Riders are already coming in to, to take out these defenses that are distracted um, by the Kill Squad. The healing spell there is left for the Valkyries to get all the way deep into the base. We still have one final heal spell remaining. The Hog Riders are going to get healed up here as they group up uh, all the way to full beautifully done and then they're going to continue around the ring check out in the core guys valkyrie still wrecking things we've got the king still up with his ability uh, we've got golems distracting the whole backside that is the beauty of this strategy guys not only the damage you can see the hog riders working their way around here it's the off tanking here by the golems by the valkyries by the king all of those have monstrous hit points and uh, you can see the hogs kind of catching up here. Notice the cleanup at the bottom. The wizard already working the ring. On this side, we've got the wizards working the ring up here, guys. So the cleanup is super, super efficient. Um, everything looking good. This base got wrecked. Um, Town Hall 8 versus Town Hall 9 action. I actually took out a Town Hall uh, 9 that was pretty beefy with this strategy. Uh, not going to show it simply because it was a little more sloppy and didn't execute. Uh, the fundamentals that I really talked about. But check this out. This last little wizard guy is pretty funny. He gets this uh, elixir storage taken out. Let's shoot at the wall when the last building is right in front of him. So overkill the base. Uh, Power Bank getting it done at the Town Hall 8 level, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Quad Quake Govajo at Town Hall 8, guys, is overpowered as heck. Absolutely unstoppable. Any base can get absolutely wrecked. So those of you guys that are naysaying, saying stop the, you know, lying, you, you know, this doesn't work. You're absolutely wrong. It does work. I just demonstrated it, and in war, our Town Hall 8s are doing the exact same thing. So, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Hit that like button if you did. Share this with your friends at Town Hall 8. That way they can get those three stars for the good guys. For now, though, this is Power Bank. I am signing out. Until next time, guys, enjoy the three stars. Peace.